Hey guys, and welcome to another Fine Scale Modeler New Product Rundown One Shot. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a kit I've been dying to see, and that is Rodin's 1 to 1 4 4 scale Boeing 307 Stratoliner. This is the first commercial uh, pressurized, that's the word I'm looking for, pressurized <laughs> airliner in service. Uh, a few of them were built before the war started, before World War II started. Mo a bunch of them were seconded to military service. They had a very short airline uh, use with large carriers. A few of them went into post-war service. And we haven't seen a good kit of this in 1 to 144 scale before. There have been a couple of attempts to take B-17 parts. This has a lot of commonality with the B-17 and make some new parts to make a 307. This is an all new from the ground up Boeing 307. So let's take a look at what's in the box. As usual, Roden has nice evocative uh, box art. I really like the metallic finish on that, the reeds, the sky, pretty to look at. Uh, it's a fairly small box of parts. Let's start with the fuselage halves. The a good job of representing the bulbous 307 fuselage. Uh, recessed panel lines throughout. You'll notice the windows are different on each side. I think one side had sleeper side and one side had seats um, on the actual airliner. The big tail. Back when flying was actually comfortable. Uh, yeah, if you wanted to fly for hours <laughs> and days at a time, sure. Um, so that looks pretty good. Uh, the, obviously the uh, fuselage glass, the cockpit glass is a single piece that inserts from the top, not trying to slide it in. Here are the wings, which you can see the uh, definitely the B-17 style wing. The uh, on top side and then the underside with the uh, nacelles and landing gear bays. Um, you get a little bit of uh, structural detail on the uh, ailerons. Uh, some Slots, slots on the leading edges at the uh, at the tips, but again, nice uh, recessed panel lines look very consistent. Here's the we get uh, into more detail here. Actually, for the scale, those are really nicely detailed engines with diff separate cylinders. You have the B17 style wheels there, Looks like they're divided into yeah, they're in halves. Uh, Propellers, exhausts, cowls, there's a horizontal stabilizer there, uh, some antennas, these are flap actuators here. Um, yeah, again, really nice detail for the scale. And then this looks like more uh, for the wheelbase. Curious to know about, these look like they might be, um, this must be the longer and shorter version, uh, nacelles, here are the landing gear legs, the tailwheel, um, even a separate scoop. But for the, again, for the size of the airplane, that's some uh, pretty nice detail engraved on there. Here are the clear parts. You get strips for the uh, fuselage, cabin windows, um, and then the main cockpit glass, which actually has fairly well-defined frames that should make masking it relatively easy. I can feel the frames when I scrape my finger along there. There's a little top window up there too. But they were, uh, extend the engraved detail for the panel lines along that uh, roof line above the cockpit. It's a nice feature. So. Looks like the uh, markings are for a single TWA aircraft. The nice red titles, the transocean transcontinental line rather, some stripes for the tails, a few marks. Even looks like they've got propeller uh, maker marks there. These look pretty good. Um, there is. Fairly extensive carrier film on there, but uh, they look good and uh, sharply printed in register. Even the Boeing Stratoliner uh, titles there look good. So, and typical road and instructions. This is a fairly simple model, so there's not a lot here. 
parts map, the windows. The most complicated part looks like these uh, engine assemblies, of which there are going to be four of them. If you like building B-17s, you'll like building this. And that's pretty much it. It's exciting to have a good Boeing Stratoliner in airliner scale available now. I can't wait, wait to see how it goes together. I'm so excited I can't even speak. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.